We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Woke up Sunday morning with some piping hot tea to sip. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, T. And yes, it's Sunday. I was over here listening to Blackberry Molasses. Anyways, make sure y'all have y'all's teacups ready, honey, because this tea is what? Piping hot. I got my audio together. Everything is crisp. It's sounding good. I'm feeling good. I'm going to be dropping tea bombs all throughout the day. I have plenty of stories. You guys have been sending me tons of stories, and I'm ready to cover them. On top of that, I want to let you guys know that the t-shirts were fixed. They were fixed 30 minutes later. So thank Thank you guys say about who pointed that out the guy who designed them he accidentally added an extra p we we're able to get that fixed so nobody ordered a misspelled shirt or anything like that so now everything is back the piping hot t-shirts are back they've been up since yesterday i want to thank everybody who's placed an order i really appreciate it like i always tell y'all every little bit helps you know buying merchandise buying t-shirts donating I appreciate everything because it helps me to be able to create this content that I bring to you guys on an almost daily basis. I'm trying to get to where I can do it every day, but you guys know I have a lot of things going on, but um, I definitely want to bring y'all as much tea as possible, you know, details, everything, so that way you're always in the loop, okay? So if you guys want to support the channel and buy a t-shirt or buy some merchandise, all the links will be down below, so make sure you guys check it out. So you guys were sending me stories like crazy concerning the whole K. Michelle Jocelyn drama. And honey, I've been keeping up with everything, but I didn't want to jump on it because I knew K. Michelle was not going to let that shit ride, okay? I knew K. Michelle was going to come back and say something. So if you guys don't know, this is what's been going down with the whole K. Michelle and Jocelyn situation. So what went down is that basically K. Michelle posted a video on her Instagram page, and it's a video of her, Shekana Joe, and Mona Scott, honey. And they're sitting there talking, kikiing it up, having a good old funky time. And K. Michelle lets it be known that whoever got beef with Mona Scott needs to stop and they better stop going in on Mona and all this other mess. So once that video went viral, Jocelyn saw the video. And of course, she has something to say in the comment section of the video, okay? So I want you guys to go ahead and check out the video of K. Michelle and Mona Scott. And then I'm going to show you guys what Jocelyn said underneath the video. Go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my So to all of you haters who always had something to say about my girl Mona, we got a real testimony right here. <laughs> What's up, Kay? A testimony about a testimony. What, what, how has she sold seeds? Me and Mona, we, she, she's doing everything I want to do. Everything that I want to do. And, and it came what? Huh? What, what? what it did? Everything she wanted to do came what? It came true. It came true. Y'all better stop it. She paid everybody. She Ain't nobody going unpaid. <laughs> and may God be the glory to y'all. We're going I back to our bills. She has had my back. She has, and we've been through so much. That's really my family. Yes. So, for her to see everything and just see me in the back of the dressing room crying about some bullshit, and now to be here and have my restaurant, my drink, record deals, all that stuff. It's amazing. I never take from where I come from. That's right. Now, look at this restaurant. Yes, look at God. <laughs> and look at Mona. <laughs> Work, Kay. All right, so you guys just saw the video and you guys also saw what Jocelyn said underneath the video. So then once K. Michelle saw Jocelyn's comment, when I tell you, honey, K. Michelle was not here for the foolishness, she came back clapping at Jocelyn, okay? So this is what K. Michelle had to say. She says, LOL, I didn't even do anything to you. I never spoke bad on your name, but let's go, Tyrone Biggums. And one more thing before I go, I was a great friend to you. I even went and brought your 28-day challenge at Jocelyn. I don't think you want this, mamacita. Ooh, and my last piece of advice to you as a friend, hang that music up. Drops the mic. But of course, K. Michelle's petty ass was not finished, okay? So this is what else K. Michelle had to say. So then she came back and she was like, Ad Jocelyn, you the same bitch trying to turn my mansion into a trap house, snorting coke in my bathroom. Bitch, give that nose a rest, Puerto Rican crackhead. I got some time before my meet and greet, ho. Shouldn't that look a bit in court? All that cocaine you do and you still manage to find time to stick your nose in my business? You find time to come for me, but you can't comb that pretty little baby's hair? What a disgrace. Hashtag free Bonnie. 
Honey, when I seen that I had to clutch my invisible damn pearls, I'm like, what? She tried to turn your damn mansion into a trap house? Where they do that at? K. Michelle is a hot damn mess, okay? So, of course, it got even worse than that. So, Jocelyn came onto social media. She decided to make a video coming at K. Michelle. She was very upset. She thought it was very disrespectful for her to bring her daughter into the conversation and to disrespect her child. She was also mad, and she also called out K. Michelle for never having her child as well. So, I want you guys to go ahead and check out these videos that Jocelyn posted. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Say good morning, Body Bella. Now, for you mamas that ain't got your babies every day, go get your baby. Right. I have to damn this. She don't want me to keep her, girl. Y'all, Jocelyn want to keep this baby. She don't want nobody to have her for at least an hour. She can't live without her. Go um, get your baby. If your baby at your grandmama house, that ain't your baby. That's your mama baby. <laughs> if we know, if you got a baby and we ain't never seen your baby in our life. Bonnie. Bonnie. Bonnie, Really? Mommy can't talk to the people. Oh, salud, dinero y amor. Salud, dinero y amor. She had enough. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Slow, for thinking I'm a great mama. Listen. If you're a mama and you ain't got your baby, and your, and your mama got your baby, then you're not the mama. Your grandmama's the baby. Now we need to go, we need to see your baby. We know you are a mom. We need to know that you are a mama. I need you to connect. Let's, let's make the connection this morning. If you're a mama and you're always in the streets claiming you're doing this and you're doing that and you're an artist, bitch, your baby should be included in everything you do. All mean lady that's sick on that baby is just what it is. A mean old person. Who steps so low into bringing a beautiful, innocent child into an argument. That is very, 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 very unfair. It's very, very unfair. Bonnie Bella, how as beautiful as you are, anybody can say anything negative about you. Bonnie Bell, you're a baby, you're an innocent child. What is wrong with people? Bonnie, say good morning. The people saying good morning to you. Oh. See, Bonnie Bell is mad. You should tell a grown woman to be not so mean. If you're a grown woman and you mean, keep it to yourself. We don't want you to dislike babies. Everybody is a mama and everybody likes babies. Don't you talk bad about people's children. Who talks bad about people's children? That is so negative and it's so mean and it's so not fair. It's so not fair. If you have a problem with an adult, keep it with adults. Bonnie Bella, say, follow me on Bonnie Bella Hernandez so you can see my adventures on a daily basis. We love you. Say bye to the... Uh, so for you haters, you know where you can kiss it. All right, so you guys just saw Jocelyn's video. So, of course, after Jocelyn made that video, of course, K. Michelle came back, honey. And you know K. Michelle is super messy and extra petty, okay? So she decided to come back with the video, basically pretending to be Jocelyn snorting cocaine. So y'all go ahead and check out this video of K. Michelle going in on social media. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. You know what I'm saying? Right. Breastfeed my baby. I breastfeed my baby with the cocaine up this nostril, breastfeed with this one. Mm. That's not what they do on the real. The ladies of the real don't act like that. Mm -hmm. They're very high and mighty over there. Hi, my name is Jocelyn Hernandez, and I'm here for the 28 Day Challenge Crackhead. <laughs> Up. <laughs> All right, honey. Y'all just saw K. Michelle and her damn cocaine challenge. So this whole situation is crazy. But if that's not crazy enough, make sure that you keep on sipping, bitch, okay? So now what's going down is that Jocelyn's former friend, her name is Queen, she started slamming Jocelyn on Instagram as well, okay? She's basically calling out Jocelyn on her beef with Mona Scott. And then she's also saying that Jocelyn 
caused her to not be on that show. She basically hated on her to Mona, and then Mona, you know, basically decided not to allow her to be on the sixth season of Love and Hip Hop ATL. Y'all go ahead and check out Queen Slam and Jocelyn. Check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my comments. This is the contract that I signed for Love and Hip Hop season six. I was supposed to come on Love and Hip Hop season six. Jessica Dime was supposed to bring me on the show. I'm not gonna say what it was for. But Jocelyn has again told them not to let me on the show. Okay, I let it ride. Season, mind you, season one, when they told her, Jocelyn, where's your friend Queen? She was great. Tell her to come back on the show. She said, who? Oh, Queen, she's never coming on the show. Her so-called best friend, Dawn, said, damn, Jocelyn, why you tell her not to let Queen back on the show? She said, oh, why? So that bitch could steal my shine. See, I was never going to do this because I'm good. It's six years, what, six seasons, six years later? I'm just doing this shit. You know I'm doing this shit? Because of Mona. First of all, ho, you ain't finna just dog Mona out, ho. Because I fucks with Mona. I met Mona. I don't know Mona, but I fucks with her because you know what? Mona ain't in the wrong. Mona from the same place my mama from. Mona from Haiti. My, I'm Haitian. I'm not finna just let you dog Mona like that, ho, when you wrong, ho. You fucked up, ho. How you gonna blame Mona? Tell me Mona made you do it, Mona made. How the fuck you gonna say Mona put a gun to your head and made you do something? Let me tell you something, you dumb asshole. And life is choices. It's yes or no. You feel what I'm saying? Mona ain't make you do shit, ho. That's a motherfucking drugs, ho. You crying for more money, but you don't see where your money go because you keep that shit up in your nose, you dumb ass bitch. But you wanna blame Mona. Fuck Mona got those. If anything, Mona helped you, ho. Mona paying you 20 grand an episode. That's something that you talking about Stevie. Everybody Stevie made you Stevie. Stevie ain't make you shit. Mona made you whole. Mona paid you whole. Mona polished your dusty ass up and put you in Hollywood hoe and gave you a shot to be great hoe. But you so fucked up that you don't know how to be great, you stupid ass dumb bitch. But you talk, oh, and and, and oh 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 Stevie. Stevie. Man, you was the player season. What, what happened to you, nigga? You let this whole talk about your kids? Tell your 18 year old to go suck a dick? Say how you fucked your little daughter? Your little daughter? Are you still running after this whole nigga? Nigga, you was a chump. I ain't got no respect for you no more, nigga. Let me tell you something. Jocelyn, Chanelica, if you dare come at me on some bullshit, some fuck shit, ho. Let me tell you, I ain't none of these hoes on Love and Hip Hop, ho. You know I'm from the motherfucking streets, bitch. I really live this life, ho. Let me tell you something, bitch. If you dare come for me any kind of way on this motherfucking internet, ho, bitch, I'm expose your ass, ho. I'm letting everybody know. Now I'm about to leave, but before I wrap this shit up, let me just say one more thing. See, Chanel, I know how you like to play like you stupid and you crazy. Let me tell you something, ho. If you dare come at me, I'm going to let out your big secret, ho. And you already know, you and I know, you don't want that secret to come out, ho. So you better stay in your motherfucking lane, ho. Don't play with me, Hi, bitch. honey. Y'all just saw her video as well. When I tell you these chicks are super messy, I don't even watch TV no more. I just sit my ass on social media because that's where all the damn reality TV is. It's right there on Instagram. It's right there on Twitter. It don't even make no sense to turn my damn TV on because they keep me entertained online, honey. I just be sitting there sipping tea and gathering information. So anyhow, this whole situation is crazy. Everybody wants to know my opinion on this. You know, I find it funny that Jocelyn is like super hotep nowadays. You know what I mean? She wants to be super woke. And, and it's funny that now that she's a mother, all of a sudden children should be off limits. And I feel like Jocelyn Hotep Hernandez, a.k.a. Chanelica. What's See? up, Hernandez? What's up, Chanelica? I think she's full of shit. I really do. Because this is the same woman, not even two weeks ago, you got into it with Stevie J's daughter and you called her nappy headed. You're always going in on Stevie J's other children. And let's not forget, it was just a year ago while you were pregnant that you came out and you started going in on Mimi's daughter that she has with Stevie J. And you accused Stevie J of molesting that little girl. 
and there was no proof. You know what I'm saying? There was an investigation and it was proven that Stevie J did not molest his daughter. So it's funny that Jocelyn can go in on other people's children. She can accuse other people's children of being molested by their fathers. She can talk about other people's children's features. But then when somebody talks about her daughter, all of a sudden it's an issue. All of a sudden baby should be off limits. All of a sudden, you know, her child is beyond reproach. Now I've always said this. I've always said that I do not feel like people should bring people's kids into any situation. The babies are innocent. If you have an issue with an adult it should be between you and that adult it should have nothing to do with the kids but again Jocelyn is the same person who's had no problem going in on other people's children so I really can't feel bad for her all like that okay now as far as K Michelle honey K Michelle is messy let me just keep it real okay that whole 28 day cocaine challenge and her pretending to sniff coke that was super petty and that was super damn messy okay but I do feel like K. Michelle definitely knew what she was doing when she made that video with Mona. You know what I'm saying? Let's not act stupid here, people. K. Michelle purposely involved herself in something that had nothing to do with her. This beef was originally between Mona Scott and Jocelyn Hernandez, a.k.a. Chanel Chanel you know what I'm saying? So it was originally their beef, but all of a sudden K. Michelle decided to insert herself, knowing that Jocelyn would have something to say, knowing that it would make Jocelyn mad. And of course, because she started this, now they're going back and forth, and now her name is out there, now she's trending. So I feel like K. Michelle knew what she was doing when she tried to put that video up of her and Mona Scott and everything else. And on top of that, that's why I always say I don't believe that any of these reality TV show people are actually friends because regardless of what her and Jocelyn are going back and forth about, for her to put Jocelyn's drug problem out there, and we all know that Jocelyn does drugs. That's not a surprise. But it just shows that these people are not really friends because why would you put all her business out there and clown her for her cocaine use and everything else when just two years ago, y'all was kissing and making out? Jocelyn been snorting cocaine that I mean that's been out for years so you was cool with her snorting two years ago when you was kissing her but now all of a sudden it's the issue and that's why I don't take a lot of these reality tv show people seriously because they all claim to be cool until they're ready to be for until you know somebody has a falling out then they want to air each other's dirty laundry okay but like the old saying goes birds of a feather flock together you know what I'm saying so to me K Michelle is no better than Jocelyn they're both just messy as hell and they are both quick to throw each other under the bus now as far as Jocelyn's former friend Queen you know, I think Queen was stating a lot of facts because Jocelyn has made good money on Love and Hip Hop ATL. She was getting paid $12,000 an episode, if not more. And, you know, she really has nothing to show for it. People are saying that she blew it on cocaine. She blew it on drugs. You know, I don't know. But obviously, she needs money. She's sitting here going off on Instagram over 150 k Obviously, she needs it. But I also feel like her ex-friend, Queen, is also being messy. And she's looking for a way to come up. And my thing is, she's sitting here praising Mona. But if you and Mona were that cool, then why would Mona not allow you on the show? Why would Mona allow Jocelyn to dictate who she brings on the show? So obviously, Mona wasn't that cool with you because if she really was she would have had you on the show regardless of what Jocelyn says Jocelyn wouldn't have had that much pull because at the end of the day it's Mona's show you know so I really feel like her pulling up the contract and her talking about the show and you know going on Instagram I really think that she's doing that in hopes that Mona Scott sees it and Mona Scott ends up inviting her back but again that just goes to show you how sad this society is nowadays that the only way that people feel like they can make money is to basically sell their soul act ratchet on reality television but like I said I never believe that any of these people are really friends if you guys remember Kalina and Rashida were really good friends outside of the show they have been best friends for years and that show literally divided them they're no longer friends and Kalina even came out and said that Rashida sold her soul for love and hip-hop if you don't see the fool in the room it's you ho you ho bitches got the nerve to say I'm broke though Ooh. I just ain't gonna sell my soul for no episode no if I'm broke I'm not selling my soul to soul Said that a few years ago you know so this show has ruined friendships it's ruined marriages you know it's ruined relationships people have picked up drug habits over this show people have you know it's been all types of shit and let's not count the amount of abortions and supposed miscarriages that you know that come with this show as well okay and all these babies being born into this foolishness I mean it's just ridiculous but I don't feel bad for any of these people because they know what they're getting into when they sign up for this ratchet ass reality television and now they're taking it from reality tv to social media so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead leave a comment 
Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning K. Michelle and Jocelyn Hernandez, aka Chanelica. Chanelica. Getting into it <laughs> on social media, going back and forth on Instagram. Are you team Chanelica? Chanelica. Or are you team K. Michelle? Or are you team neither one of these damn birds, okay? And do you agree with me that K. Michelle was being messy when she posted that video with Mona Scott? And then how do you feel about Jocelyn Hotep Hernandez all of a sudden feeling like, you know, her child should not be in the fray and her child is above reproach? even though she's had no problem going in on other people's children throughout the years. Let me know what y'all think about the entire situation. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so that we can be a part of the notification squad so you can get all the alerts today. And then also don't forget to check out the store. All of the links will be down below. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.